Hi, Aerial Yogis. I'm Camille, and welcome back to my Camille Yogi Aerial Yoga channel. And it was a while for sure that I haven't posted the video. Sorry, guys, about that. But I was super busy with my online teacher training, by the way. You can check here the video about it. And uh, here's a promo code if you're interested. And especially if you want to uh, have a safe practice at home or perhaps uh, just for your own personal reasons, or perhaps you want to be a teacher and spread aerial yoga magic into the world and share it with others. So here you can check all this information in the description and where I pointed everywhere. <laughs> anyway, but back to our topic of today. And I received some of the requests uh, since I posted on Instagram uh, the flying uh, squirrel pose as well as the inverted like shoulder stand butterfly pose. So these poses connected, they are coming uh, basically from the same transition. So that's what we're going to do today. It's very fun uh, practice, short practice uh, with the open hammer. And let's check those poses, how we look, and then let's go step, as, uh, step by step as always we do. Okay, so now let's get back to business and go in detail through these poses that are super fun. They're a great opener for the chest and shoulder line as well as for the hips, so the whole front body. As, and also we're adding that floating feeling of levitation. So uh, let's first uh, start with the flying squirrel. And you can enter the open hammock uh, through just regularly sitting in and grabbing perhaps seven grabs of the silk, sitting and putting your feet in, or if you want for a more fun way, so just flip into it and you can check the flip here for tutorial for it. And let's meet in the silk. So in here we start by just putting our feet together like this, uh, knees bent and open as if we would do like a little bit wider butterfly position and then grab the whole sides of the silk for the full width now very important step that when we lift up we actually not our direction is not actually up as much as forward so we instantly leaning through the knees through the thighs into the silk and a little bit weighing into it otherwise if you just stand up, that's it. You're out of your silk and your knees will start to slide out. So we need to, uh, when you lift up, we need to lift, leave the legs as, as they are in that sleeping butterfly or the butterfly position. So just one more time, knees bent, feet together, grabbing the sides of the silk. Now a little bit pull up, but instantly wave towards me, I'm weighing towards you. So as you see, you can just lean and hook through your elbows to actually feel the silk uh, uh, stretching into your thighs through your legs, covering you. Now, if you're already in the step, then let's start with our squirrel wings. So one other hand just hold firmly, just you know, for the safety. And the other hand grabs the other loose edge of the silk and go through inside and to the front. So this is one of your wings. Now just lean a little bit into your elbow as you already have a little bit support from the silk. So do the same side for the other hand. Just grab the edge through inside and front. And now we have both wings and we have the area where to lean safely. 
So just slowly hold the edges, of course, firmly. Just slowly lean forward and down. And there you're entering the flying squirrel. You can stay in here by opening your chest. It's a little bit a back bend through your lower and middle back. Uh, if you want more of the stretch through the shoulders, then just like come up a little bit. And then you instantly going together with your elbows and head down so your elbows will stay up. And then you're stretching even more through the upper back too. So opening through the chest and uh, stretching through abdominal area. So either staying here or you come back a little bit wider and just flying in here. And you can tw twirl around, twist around if you want, of the side stretches, lateral stretches for the back. And coming back all the way down into the where we started. And uh, now let's continue with the uh, shoulder stand butterfly. So inverted position also for the, as a hip opener. And it's very actually meditative and relaxed pose. So you can stay there. It feels like you can stay there forever. <laughs> so uh, since this position is actually, I will turn away while doing it. So I will start in this one in the middle of it. Uh, of the steps, I will go from the other side that you could see me. So first, we're still sitting as it were uh, in that butterfly position. We're still grabbing the sides of the silk. First few steps are the same as we're going to the flying squirrel. So just press into the silk, into the front, but keep your knees bent. The weight is actually down and forward rather than up. And then again, we're grabbing back of the silk to the front. But this time, we need the silk not under the armpits, but on top of our shoulders. So just hold by a bit and put it on top. I will show you later how to get it passed away instantly. So you're covering the whole shoulder, both sides. Just be careful, make sure you're always holding at least one of the edges. So there we have this. And basically you're now just leaning down, lifting your hips, and you're entering the shoulder stand. Now I will uh, turn around that you could see it from how it actually looks, where you're entering. So just once again, if you're a little bit stuck or something, we can do it again. So grabbing the sides, leaning into the silk with your thighs, silk in front through the sides and on top of the shoulders, remember on top and then leaning forward and lifting your hips. And there, it's basically your shoulders are stacked into a silk and you can release your hands. Just make sure that the silk is around your neck and over the shoulders. And this pose is very relaxing, very nice. It's a great inversion. You can finish your practice with this pose and just stay in here and breathe. So now, as I promised, uh, I will show you a little bit faster way to enter it. So you can actually start by from the sit seated position instantly covering your shoulders. Yeah, so even if I lay down, so I'm covering the shoulders. I'm grabbing just the edge from inside. That means thumbs in and four fingers, the edge and then it turns in and wraps around. And then I'm bending my knees. And I'm instantly now, when I sit, I instantly put my weight forward and a little bit lift up. So elbows through the silk, lifting up and turning down. And there, so this is a little bit faster way if you're already comfortable with it. Otherwise, you know, if it's just a start, make sure you're going slowly through the steps uh, to keep your practice safe and fun. So one more time, just through the front. The faster way, I mean. So I'm covering my shoulders already. Yeah, so in here, I'm holding, if you start to lay back, I'm holding the edges from inside, leaning forward, a little bit pressing away, and going all the way down into the shoulder stand butterfly, and my hands are in Anjali Mudra, or Prayer Mudra, by the heart. 
So there it is, these two poses very fun to practice, uh, which was flying squirrel and inverted or shoulder stand butterfly. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have other requests about poses or classes, uh, you can always just drop a comment down below. Or if you're interested about uh, the silks that are here in my studio, all colorful, uh, I have even more colors to, uh, to send you out. You can check them all in my, on my website and also to check information about teacher trainings or other my projects or just follow my journey on my Instagram. Anyway, everything is down below. So, uh, and I just wish you a great day, have fun and see you next time. Bye. Namaste.